Hi, Casper here, and it's the 1st of July. Interesting one here, that this can be the most widely planted grape variety in Argentina, and I'm not sure I'd ever heard of it. So this is 2018 vintage, and a grape called uh, Cereza. Cereza. Um, uh, and lots of words on the label. Uh, Calasuthia, Tinto de Rivadavia, and made by some people called Hector y Pablo Duricuti. There we are. Uh, tells you a lot. I think the most important thing to know is that it is made from cereza, um, which is not really either a white grape or a red grape. It is somewhere in between, like Pinot Grigio and Cabot Stramina and um, a number of other grape varieties that fall into that sort of uh, genre. It is uh, grey or, uh, or pink skinned really and used to make um, rosés, white wines and in this instance uh, a light red wine, I mean beautiful, pale, sort of cherry ruby colour, really nice to look at in the glass. I've actually chilled this a bit, you know I tasted earlier, did the written tasting note for this wine earlier. I thought, you know, that's a classic wine that could be chilled for our summer. Here we are in July. Perfect. Oh, nice nose. Really fresh. Sort of cherry straight from the orchard. It's authentic though. There's nothing sort of candied about it. It's um, just that lovely, quite crisp red cherry fruit. A little bit of nuttiness. I, I certainly noticed when it was warm, I certainly noticed a bit of spice about it. Sort of gingery, gingerbread spice. But with a little bit cooler, it just mages on this lovely red, pure cherry fruit. Mm. Oh, I'm, and I'm, you know, I wrote in my tasting notes, it's a van der Swaff for. And van der Swaff is, you know, a wine you drink when you're thirsty and it encourages you to, to break open the um, salami and um, this will be perfect for exactly that reason really. Get a little bit cool, drink in the early evening, some friends around and um, it's got nice crispness to the structure and the acidity which cleans up the finish. The finish is, is beautifully dry and, and, um, and nicely long. Um, it's got a slightly saline quality to it, sort of almost oyster shell sort of character um, that just adds to the attractiveness of this of this wine. I, I think it's lovely. Don't get too serious about it. It's a wine you drink with friends and then open another one. It's um. Lovely, crunchy red fruit on the palate. Um, yeah, it's a good wine for people who are thirsty. Super stuff, you know, I, and uh, I'm not sure I've ever tasted a Cereza before, despite the fact that it is the most widely planted grape in Argentina. Um, fabulous. Yeah, in fact, the importer hadn't, um, didn't really know Cereza either, so um, very interesting. 2018 Cereza Carasucia, yeah, 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 whatever else is on the label. There's a lot of stuff. This will be a daily drinker, so you can read more about it then. But um, I think that's standout, interesting, and standout from the crowd, really. You know, it's got no great colour or density or oakiness or, you know, massive presence. It's just a delicious, easy drinking and ultimately refreshing red-ish wine. Good stuff. Love it.